In this video, I'm gonna show you how to verify and upgrade the firmware for your AGM Rattler thermal scope. This is the TS19256, but this will work for any uh, AGM Rattler thermal scope. So I'll have a link to the AGM website where you can download the firmware and verify which version you have. But first we need to power on the scope. So just hold down the power button. And then we're gonna hold down the menu button to pull up the menu so we can check the firmware version. So you're just gonna go down till you get to the I icon information. So you navigate up and down with these buttons and then you're gonna hit this button in the middle to select. And so that will show you the firmware version that you have. So if you go to the website that I have in the description, um, you can put in the product type, uh, series and your model number here and then scroll down to the bottom here and it'll have a record of all the different um, versions of firmware that AGM has published along with a description of uh, the different features that were added or changed. So you're going to compare this number to the number you see right there. And if there's a discrepancy, that means you can go ahead and uh, download the firmware update. So go ahead and click on the firmware. So it'll go ahead and download. And before you connect your scope to your computer, you do want to just go and verify that you have the hotspot disabled. So just navigate to the network option and make sure that's off. All right, now we can power down the scope. One thing that's really important is you need to make sure you remove the batteries before you connect it to your computer or else you can damage your computer. So with the batteries removed, you can open up the USB port and plug that into your computer. Now back on your computer, you're gonna wanna locate the firmware uh, zip file that you downloaded and you're gonna wanna extract it. And inside the extracted folder, you're gonna see digicap.dav or some sort of DAV file. So you can right click that and select copy or cut. Then you're gonna turn on the scope again and then you'll navigate to what shows up as a USB drive, which is actually your scope and you can right click and paste it there. So the firmware file will transfer to the scope and then what we can do is power off the scope and then power it on once more. So after about a minute or so, it'll start installing the firmware automatically. You just need to uh, give it some time. Uh, make sure you leave this plugged in. Otherwise, as soon as you unplug it, remember you don't have any batteries in there. So uh, the scope will just turn off. So let it do its thing and install the firmware. And once it's done, you can then turn it off. All right, so the scope just turned off automatically once it was all done in installing the firmware. So we'll go ahead and power it back up again. All right, so we'll power it back up again and it looks like it's uh, still upgrading. So that might've been an automatic uh, power recycle. So maybe if it does turn off on you, just let it kind of uh, give, it a, give it a minute or so and see if it turns back on by itself. So we can see it's still definitely installing. So it's telling us to wait for about 10 minutes and that it will reboot automatically when it's done. All right, so the scope just rebooted automatically. I'm gonna go back into the menu. And if I go back to the version, you can see we're now upgraded to the latest firmware. Now, the biggest thing that this version uh, added is the zeroing profiles. All right, guys, so that's how you upgrade the firmware on an AGM scope. If you wanna watch some of my other AGM videos, I've got a playlist linked below, as well as some links to uh, some of the thermal scopes that I've reviewed. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.